Hello everybody, in today's video I want to talk about the K-Sync and their potential airdrop, talk about their ecosystem and why I think it's a good uh, investment for your time and putting some effort to uh, making this airdrop happen and let me start what is the case inc and why i think that ecosystem is growing and it's good to spend some time on it so it's another layer two solution for scaling ethereum like same as optimism and also arbitrum uh, my favorite is arbitrum but i think it's also good to spend some time on the case inc as well and uh, this is uh, their main website and uh, this um, is showing their full uh, ecosystem with so many different projects which are uh, building on the casing so this is <laughs> loud in for now but it's like uh, many many project building uh, already on the casing can put in their effort on this some of those projects are already uh, existing one big project and they're adding like another chain uh, but some of them are just new uh, very brand new project which are starting building using the case inc and um, by doing a uh, testnet uh, tasks so you could be part uh, of uh, zk sync main airdrop i still think that it's time to do it i heard that some people think it's uh, like uh, snapshot is taken already we don't have any information but looking what's happening with the ecosystem it's still on so early phases uh, because uh, like from those huge leaps to the project only like seven of them of working because uh you know you need to look at those ones that are uh, uh, set here live but even from those list it is only seven which is somehow working and you could interact with them using um, uh, zk test net so and uh, you know i think it's still good to do and uh, it's still good to interact with those projects by weekly basis spend some time interacting clicking some buttons and maybe later on once those project launching their own coin they will reward you because uh, all the projects are going to be uh, like community driven and they reward early adopters and early supporters so in my opinion it uh, definitely worth doing it and worth spending uh, some time on it for sure so uh, from uh, this list of ecosystem i did uh, as i said uh, choose uh, seven which are working and i am interacting in myself using the casing testnet um, it is also mainnet 1.0 which is could potentially be part of uh, the airdrop for the k uh, sync once the token is launched but i don't want to cover it on my channel because first it's uh, quite pricey to do i mean people <laughs> don't want to spend any money on it and wasting because there is no um like uh, there is some doubt that they could be rewarded and uh, using the casing it's more pricey rather than uh, arbitrum for example because you're using ethereum uh, like uh, chain and it's actually it's pricey to do and i'm not confident in the result of this work so i did it myself like once uh, and uh, i'm focusing more on the test net and uh, that's why I want to show it uh, for you. So uh, first thing you need to do to start working uh, with interacting with those chain, you need to go to this website. I will put all the links in the description below for your convenience. So, and the first thing you need some um, Ethereum on your ZKSync uh, testnet. In order to do it, uh, first you need to connect your MetaMask wallet to Ethereum Girly testnet. And um, uh, here is uh, the chain information for this testnet of Ethereum. So uh, you will need to add it as an extra chain to your MetaMask. And here are the information. Uh, it is network name, website, chain ID, network ID, and symbol. So I will also put it in the description. It is something you need to put first in your MetaMask. And then you need some money to put uh, for this testnet and here how you could uh, do it. So in order to put some money in here, you will need uh, to go the, to this website, Girly Proof of Work uh, Farset, and to put your um, address in here. 
uh, it's also will be capturing here and then uh, you will see like this uh, <laughs> cat or something uh, which is uh, minting your some rewards for you uh, speed is depending how many people is doing with this but it will take some time to mint some there is a minimum amount to like mint i think it is 0 0.02 or 0 0.04 or something so it will take some time for you uh, to mint but once uh, it is done you need to click uh, stop uh, minting it here uh, so yeah it's free to do and uh, this website is good to use i'm using this one uh, for all my uh, like girly ethereum activities so and once you mint something for your account uh, you will see on this bridge uh, phase that you have some balance in here for me it's now 0 0.04 uh, yeah, you, you need to put uh, some balance in here and then click uh, deposit. Uh, sometimes it will work, sometimes not. It is quite painful interacting with all those chains. Yeah, so for now uh, it's <laughs> working uh, and it's good. So uh, you need to put some amount. Please don't put all your uh, Ethereum amount because you need some money to transactions. Uh, it will yes switch you bet between the networks and it's also zk sync alpha testnet will be added for you here i think it's something automatically uh, is going to happen so i don't think you need to do extra here so uh, then you need to uh, approve this transaction and then once it's done because i, I did it uh, already with this account myself you could go to wallet uh, tab and see some uh, balance in here again it is testnet balances uh, because some people asking is it my money could i transfer it to mainnet unfortunately no but you could reward it for your activities so and uh, once you bridge it you have some ethereum on your uh, zk sync uh, testnet so uh, once it is done you're all set and now you could interact in with those seven projects all the links will be in the description below uh, they are on the different stages but uh, you know uh, you could interact with all of them First one is Minsk, where it is uh, like NFT uh, marketplace and you need to go and connect your wallet, uh, clicking in here and making sure you are using ZK Sync testnet because it is also another chain, Starknet and Starknet testnet in here. Uh, once it is done, you could go and um, buy some uh, nfts in here and not many collections added but you could click here mean square uh, collection uh, depends how much money you have you could uh, i mean from those tests i, I am choosing price low to high uh, and uh, choosing like the cheapest uh, one and buying it so you could click buy now and uh, also confirm the transaction itself in here and uh, in this case you will already have one transaction uh, with this uh, project it is also available for minting your own nft in here so oh my god <laughs> and um, you know uh, the main idea is uh, somehow to interact it is not necessarily uh, you need to mint your own NFT in here. I, I think that most important to have uh, multiple transactions better, like as, as more you can do it, more better, but at least one, two transactions per week, per once, two weeks. So I think it's a good idea to do it frequently. So after Mint Square, you have uh, another six <laughs> projects to do. So this one is also one of those project that sell uh, the website is better dot on chain dot trade so it is uh, protocols like Def uh, defy swap land borrow earn and uh, here you could click for test tokens so it's a different type of activity so you could click uh, here for test tokens and it will give you some tokens in here also make sure it is your wallet is connected and also you are choosing the case because it's also another chain aptos is added here so you could click here for test tokens it will give you some tokens and then there are two tabs which are working for me uh, it is a swap feature so you could choose one asset 
in here and another asset in here and uh, make this uh, swap uh, and trade like these long shorts are not working yet at least for now and also it is the pull stop is working sometimes it works sometimes it's not because we are testing it and it doesn't uh, necessarily mean all will work great and you could uh, click uh, deposit in here and select like two of the assets you have and if it doesn't work sometimes i do just another trade and um, that's it because it's not work that great and i think we still have some time before all those went live so uh, more project i am uh, testing so this one is actually quite good we used uh, dot switch it's working uh, <laughs> nice and at least it works so also you need to put your wallet in here and then uh, some features we are, which are working it is swap and pull so uh, again you have some ethereum you could put uh, ethereum and swap it to another token and uh, click uh, like make the swap and uh, it is also pools in here and once you have two tokens so after the swap you could add liquidity and select those two tokens so i have ethereum and once i swap it for example to die I will have die as well and you will click manage and do this uh, transaction as well again I think this is a good project for a later airdrop and it's a good idea to interact with this one uh, for sure so uh, yeah make a couple of transactions at least uh, and communicate with this mute uh, switch so uh, we have uh, four more so this one is uh, called uh, face uh, cash also make sure you are using the k uh, sync alpha testnet uh, i don't know why it doesn't like it maybe i it's um, yeah it's because it was ethereum testnet so you need to switch the chain if you have the same issue then uh, you will need to click connect uh, wallet, uh, choose MetaMask, uh, it will connect you with MetaMask. Uh, yeah, once it's connected, you need to click, click to test uh, file set uh, here and mint uh, some amount. Uh, yeah, and uh, <coughs> it will give you some uh, USDT or USDC if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, and once it's uh, uh, done, uh, it's not actually um, much features in here for now, but uh, again, we are just testing and making a small transaction as possible. There is one available market for borrowing. You need to click uh, to this one and uh, like create account. I thought I created one. You need to click everything they want you to click. And uh, it will be uh, the like borrowing feature and uh, you need to make this transaction actually also happen um yeah maybe it will <laughs> it will take some time let me see how it works not that bad actually so once uh, the account is created uh, yes it's available you already have some uh, usdc i think it should be in here so uh, you could uh, put some borrow for example like put 50 dollars uh, and it will be some usdt because you did some this uh, test facet already and then you need to click uh, borrow and actually uh, this is the platform doesn't have any uh, functionality as uh, for today but i'm also also doing this one so once you make this interaction it is done another one uh, we have like three more <laughs> uh, called uh, space and this is already part of some chains on the main net and it's good for uh, the casing test too uh, it is uh, has some DeFi functionality and NFC functionality and they already saying that those early adopters are going to be part of the airdrop for contributors, uh, valid testers, early system adopters. So no details yet, but we need to do it. And uh, yeah, it's got potential airdrop and they at least announce it. So what you need what can you do actually here you could uh, here use their swap feature uh, like this uh, one at least this one is working uh, and uh, yeah make sure you connected the wallet and it's zk sync testnet you could make this uh, swap in here choosing also kind, kind of multiple tokens in here 
uh, yeah, so you could make this uh, swap, and also pools are good to use, and you could add liquidity in here, so normally uh, in their chains and projects I testing those two are ready already, uh, so uh, for this space project you could use like swap and those pools and uh, as they say in that uh, they're going to do the airdrop I think it's good to interact as many times as you can at least once per week and uh, also another one called uh, mass protocols it is uh, exchange and uh, to interact with this you, can, you need again to connect your address and then click uh, facet and you need to put some USDC facet in here so they have uh, their own uh, uh, website for doing this and uh, what I'm doing I am uh, you need to put your uh, email address or oh, sorry <laughs> wallet address in here and click request and once you are requesting uh, those uh, testnet money you need to go to um, here you could see trade and deposit you need to click to deposit and uh, you, you click USDT uh, wallet click uh, uh, approve uh, and then it's also will be uh, deposit um, like this one and uh, yeah so once you're doing it you will deposit in uh, this money and you are good for trading in here and you will have the USDT it is also uh, is also in here but for me it doesn't work that's why I'm using this USDC and once you already put uh, uh, like some money with this deposit feature in here you are good to buy and sell and I think it's uh, also a good idea to y use it and uh, to make a couple of transactions in here so um, yeah you need to sell uh, and buy in here so a couple of transactions is definitely uh, good to do using this mess protocol and uh, the last uh, one I'm also using doesn't work much for now but um, also <laughs> like uh, clicking some buttons maybe it will give something maybe it's not so make sure you're using zk uh, sync testnet connecting your wallet uh, in here and uh, yes yeah, sometimes something else worked but for now i'm um, using the facets uh, um, clicking uh, for USDC uh, and it's going to be part of my account and uh, actually yeah for now nothing is shown in here because they're still in the test phase and uh, sometimes nothing is uh, good for to do but at least you will have one transactions by clicking with those uh, USDT for tests and I think it's uh, good uh, at least for some early activity and uh, yeah so uh, it may bring something for you like long term it's I like the idea that like those airdrops it is not the sprint it is a marathon and you need to be prepared for the long <laughs> run and for hard work and uh, maybe it will bring something maybe it will not but overall if you are making so many things with the test nets and all of those even free uh, it is money free activities but it requires a lot of time effort so energy from you and i hope that it will bring uh, some <laughs> Uh, benefits for uh, you so I hope it was uh, helpful guys thanks a lot for watching have a good day bye bye